Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Thursday, May 28th. Let's take a look at that NASDAQ market. We can see we found buyers with both hands as we used to say on the floor, which means you've seen size coming back into the market. Buyers are here. Can we get follow through next two days? Very important. I'm looking for unchanged to higher, but not a dramatic day for that NASDAQ market. And then the currencies, maybe the euro's gotten low enough to find some buyers, but does it have an excuse to actually go higher? I have my doubts about that, but this is a bullish setup and we need to pay attention to it. If you're short, nothing telling us to get out yet, but I'd be cautious at these levels. And when it comes to the notes, you know, it firmed up again. I This bothers me a bit. I really look for weakness in this market, but we're just not finding consistency when it comes to that selling. And gold, we are looking for unchanged to lower. Beautiful. Very orderly. It's what we should be seeing. Now, today we could get some volatility in this market, but I don't see that happening. I'm looking for a sideways move. And then crude oil, the stronger dollar, weaker crude, makes sense. The $57, I think, was within reach, and I'm looking for that to be taken out by the close of Friday. If we take a look at the grains, well, soybeans gave us that rest day. We've talked about that kind of behavior. I'm looking for more of the same for Thursday, actually, a sideways move. And that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for sharing part of your day with me. I'm looking forward to being with you again. And as always, take care.